Alright, hello beloveds, welcome to the channel if you're new, welcome back if you're returning, this is Sherry Mosley. We'll be doing our check-in for our June 3rd, 2023 full moon. And this full moon is definitely bringing us out of the eclipse energy that we had last month and end of April. And we are stepping into these new areas from the shifts of the eclipses as we prepare for Pluto to go back into Capricorn on June 11th and we are also in a Pluto retrograde so this month is going to be a bit of a ride and this full moon is kicking it off and we'll have also the um, equinox on the 21st as well bringing in that full summer energy but uh, this month is going to have a lot of energy shifting around and uh, there may be a lot of internal changes there may be material world changes like uh, moving <laughs> I know uh, my parents are, are moving um, and I am heading down towards Encinitas myself uh, being called to go down there now and so there's uh, just a lot moving around now that this Pluto is about to come back into Capricorn so pay attention to anything that you are being prompted to to shift maybe it's kind of surprising or sudden or big uh, and this is why you know we're going to go through this last cleanup here as this full moon comes in and then Pluto will switch into Capricorn on the 11th and we're going to go through this phase um, till January okay so it's going to be a long phase and uh, the next eclipse period is end of September and not and then beginning of October I believe and so you want to get everything you can done before that eclipse cycle otherwise that eclipse cycle is going to bring up everything that you didn't deal with so uh, it's really a, an important time to be centering in dialing in and this full moon is really bringing us to that and I already did the extended transmission which is quite beautiful connecting to the Elohim uh, the twin ray double dragon came in those frequencies which that also came in in March so um, they're really preparing for a big switch around in the energy and the frequencies anything on your awakening path will be um, it could be extreme right there may be extremes happening things coming out of nowhere so just be prepared for that shift okay and Archangel Michael also came in bringing in some beautiful frequencies so I will post that extended transmission it's a 30 minute transmission it's posted on my patreon membership page already but I'll place the link for the download uh, below if you want to just purchase that one or you can become a patreon member uh, and receive it there and we'll go ahead and just connect here with the Elohim to see what they have to bring you here for this full moon so you can receive this seated or laying down just relax and center tu asha nakasha kati at kara oku asha taka keshi akata anakasha katoru kuata kuatara kasha kana no kuata kashara katana akata ana anakatara ata antara kotuara atana ka asha Ashtara akara o hotua atana Atana heki atara o tuara O tuara ana neatara Neatana neata atura asha taka Ke ashana anakara atu kuasha Kuashana Hokuasha takara shekehe kiata akatara otua Otuara nakasha kara ata Ku 
होना ने किया आशा तकारा कारण न कारा आँखों आहाता आता शकारा आता हना ने के आता आता एक शकातारा आतो आँखों आता उखारा न था के शकाता के शकातारा आता कातारा ओतवा आ कतना आतारा Aktana no ko kuata, kotuara atara katara ata, et yara akara ata. Tono no ko atara ekia ata, et yara akatara ata. Te ashara ana neke ehata, ek yara ata, tiara atana no ko oto ara. Ne tia asha katara ato a ana katara atara ato tuara tu tuara nana neke ehe she atiana ana ko kua tia sha tisha atashaka. They're saying mantel monumental transformation uh, internally as well as in the collective. There are a lot of shifts that are about to take place. Almost like maybe there's an unawareness of how many shifts are about to take place. And with these shifts, there may bring a lot of sudden change with people and places, connecting to people, connecting to you know what you need to in order to go forward on these new paths that are going to be shifting rather quickly independently as well as collectively so uh, just be prepared and open be open to the shifts and the changes that are coming in so that you you know you don't miss out on uh, what it is that you need to be focusing on or uh, moving towards right so it's not a time for a lot of second guessing or resisting these things that are going to start um, manifesting and coming in so if you need any personal assistance with any of that um, you know you can make an appointment for a personal shamanic akashic record reading for any assistance with guidance or getting clarity on the things that are coming in it is looking like it's gonna be a pretty tumultuous month so um, this also may be why I've been prompted you know, to really strongly be in, in Encinitas um, doing this deeper work there. So uh, we are also doing on Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific the Becoming your becoming a Universal Being Connecting to Your True Self. And that's going on all month, connecting to Akashic Enlightenment and the Temple of Light frequencies. And this is also to support you know, all the shifts that are taking place. And this is going to be a series of five events. And this is the first module. And the following modules will be the following months as we go through this giant, you know, shift and transformation of, you know, coming into more alignment uh, before we come into this Pluto and Aquarius in January again, right? So this has been a sample of the new energy and we're going to come back around to it, but we still have some transformation to do. And so we're really focusing on that and these module events that I'll be doing. You can join at any time. One is not required to do the other. They're just a series of five events to go through this five month period. All right. Just looking here. So it's June, July, um, August, September, October. Right, so October is going to be that final piece of everything. So there's definitely a lot happening in these five months. So uh, definitely get the support you need. We're also doing Aquamarine Crystal Night Healing Training Webinar levels four through seven. If you missed one through three, they are on replay on my uh, platform so you can do those and then do levels four through seven if you were called to do that or if you're called to step into your personal awakening journey there's the akashic enlightenment one-on-one -on -one sessions 
uh, levels one and two are great for that awakening purpose. If you're called to be a light keeper, a light worker, levels four, uh, sorry, level three and up are for that, for those who are called to be of service. And yeah, that should keep you covered <laughs> as we go through this uh, next giant phase here. All right, so sending you all so much love and light. I hope that you're enjoying your journey. And I will uh, post a video or two from the uh, Golden Lotus Temple at the Self-Realization uh, Gardens, the Yogananda <laughs> Center Gardens, with that beautiful vortex energy once I am in Encinitas. Alright, sending you all so much love and light, and bye for now.